Today is another exciting episode of Collector's Close-Up, brought to you by thecoinshop.ca. Thank you so much for all of your support. Today I'm going to be featuring historical figures from around the world. Stay tuned, I think you're going to love it. Welcome back everybody, Canadian Silver Saver here and I'm really excited to bring you today's episode of Collector's Close-Up. It's a special double feature on historical figures. Um, it's, you know, we've, we're going to go different parts of the world here. We're going to focus on a little bit from Europe and a little bit from uh, North America here, but uh, it's going to be pretty exciting. And then that's going to lead into my, how can we get the next generation to stack? How do we start the young the young ones uh, interested in this and investing for the future in some way, shape or form? And I think uh, the second feature is a good way to get started with that. So with that said, make, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. It really helps out get these uh, videos out there to everybody and shows my your appreciation for my uh, hard work putting these videos together. I have a great time with it, but I love seeing those blue thumbs up, so please don't forget to do that. Head on over to my website, check out some great items uh, there for myself and uh, Tomoko's Enterprise and others from the community. And of course, my wife's wonderful artwork, just wonderful stuff she's doing right now. Just finished a project for Mimaru. All right, so we're going to get right to this here now. I'm going to show you the first item, and that is going to be the King Arthur Camelot. Now, this is not uh, not a new new product itself or anything like that. It's uh, been out for a little bit now. Um, but the King Arthur Camelot one, I thought this was an interesting one to feature and some things I wanted to, to uh, talk about on this here. So we're going to show it there for you. Um, we're going to do the close-up here shortly, but you'll see that uh, it has its two-ounce um, Three nines fine silver. Cook Islands, finding a lot of the stuff is Cook Islands or Island of Nui. And limited, so it's 570 here. And only uh, only 999 pieces, which I think is pretty awesome. That So fairly limited uh, piece and some great deal, detail from this. So uh, wonderful stuff done, being done by the Choice Mint. I featured other items from the Choice Mint before, and I just find they're doing some amazing work. So definitely something you want to check out. And we'll just kind of set that there. So uh, let's pop this out carefully. It comes in this beautiful box. Now, while we show off King Arthur here, and the detail that you'll see in this piece, it's just stunning and phenomenal. There we go, you can see a little bit of good reflection there too. And of course, we'll take this out and do a uh, collector's close-up, real close-up of it in a moment here. And on the back there, the Knights of the Round Table, you'll see have some of their swords on, well, they all have their swords on there. Just depends on the lighting, but uh, um, really cool. And I think that's something that's really interesting about um, this is the history behind King Arthur himself. There's a lot of debate on the, uh, you know, the folklore, the mythology behind this person, um, even debate on whether or not he actually existed. Uh, if you look up the, the stories behind him and whatnot, and um, the Crusades and things like that, it's quite interesting. But I think most of us know him from the story of the Crusades and then the uh, Sword in the Stone or the Lady of the Lake. Um, where he pulled the sword from the stone and became the King of England uh, when they were in much turmoil and needed a new leader. So very cool history there. I have a British background, um, so I thought it was a cool piece for sure. And I just think that the detail is exquisite on it, what they've done with it. And I love when they do, they use both sides of the canvas. Of course, we've got Queen on the back there, um, but they've used that canvas and not just for um, her head with nothing around it. They've, uh, they've really used it uh, well to showcase the Knights of the Round Table. So one second here and we're going to do the close-up. And you'll see here that the detail on this is just stunning. Um, and nice and close so you can see all the pattern, all the, the high relief on there. It's a nice high relief coin that does have a denomination to it. Um, castle in the background. There we go. He's wearing his. I think the armor is cool. How they've fr uh, frosted parts of him, and the castle, and but they've left the armor and the water. And then look down the bottom here with all the, you know, the, the rock and the grass and just all the finer details that if you don't take that close up look, you're gonna miss. Such a stunning piece. Such a, such a great uh, job that they're doing with these. These pieces for sure. 
and uh, absolutely love it. Great addition to anyone's stack for sure. And I think that remember that, like that's what we're talking about here is that um, it's important to stack what you like and what you enjoy. Sure, premiums may be higher than some situations, but I find there's a lot of judgment pay placed on people for buying something because of the premium they've paid, whether it's poured silver, a numismatic, um, you know, or just a bullion round that they happen to like. Um, I think that uh, we should encourage everybody to stack however they like to, because one way or another they are uh, buying an investment. And what I find with the numismatics and, uh, and the high collectible pieces, they're not really affected by the silver price market at all. Um, like a little bit, I guess, here and there, but um, you know, this this is selling for the same price as it pretty much was before. Um, you know, the recent drops uh, a little bit there, and that's not going to adjust much at all. Um, that's what I like about a lot of the, the really well-made numismatics with low mintage. Um, keeps you some diversity in your stack. You can still keep stacking the silver, so but keep that diversity. So cool. So that's the King Arthur one, and we're doing a double feature. We're doing. Uh, um, world figures, uh, historical figures, and uh, we've started with King Arthur here. And the reason why I'm doing this is I think there's a big gap um, with the um, younger generation getting involved in stacking, collecting, or whatever it may be. That's not focusing well at all. Uh, I'll keep the glove in there and that'll help. But, um, and I think that that's, that's an important thing to keep in mind. Whether it's uh, you know a young a young lad or lady that likes uh, this type of thing, they may be into medieval uh, times and history. A gift like this to somebody who loves that that type of thing is phenomenal. They're going to absolutely love what you've given them because of the the theme behind it. Um, that is something that means a lot to them, but you're also going to start teaching them about investments. Now, some of this stuff's a little bit higher end, like this here, but I think this is this is a perfect example of not only how can we get another generation into uh, stacking and collecting and saving for the future, and and keep in mind this is a, the point of this is to get them to understand how to, um, you know, if you're going to buy things, how to put your money in the right places and invest in things rather than just spending it for. You know, because we like something, um, you know, like a you know, baseball hat or uh, you know something like clo clothing or or things that are, are material goods. So, um, you know, it helps it helps them learn why would they be buying something like this over over that you know the pair of shoes they want. And uh, you'll see here. So this is the one ounce Pocahontas. Um, so po Pocahontas, the beautiful daughter of Chief Powhatan, is a playful, free-spirited young woman who knows every tree, waterfall, and wild creature in her forest home. She seeks the height, the right path for her life and determination and boldness. And her keen intelligence and strong spirit touches and changes Captain John Smith and all who know her. So this is about the Disney story of Pocahontas. Obviously, it's a Disney one-ounce round. It comes in this beautiful display book, like you're reading a story. And it tells you more back here, the spec specifications on the, uh, the round itself. And, and so the focus there. Go. And uh, I was filming by a window here. We had a little bit, a little bit of a lighting change, but there you go. Um, so this is a, a cool piece because of how it's displayed. So this is a great gift for a Disney fan, a young collector, that young lady uh, or a young gentleman that loves this type of uh, story. Uh, I'm an old Disney fan from back in the day. I'm a Mary Poppins and Pollyanna and. Uh, all that kind of stuff from back in the day. And I think it'd be so cool to have a... Honestly, I, if I could see a Mary Poppins one of these, I think that'd be phenomenal to have, even just for myself at my age. Um, but you th think about this. You give this to a, a, a young person who's into this and uh, really likes this story, and then they open it up and they're like, oh, this is cool. And then you have to, you'll have to talk about it. It creates conversation. And they can have this up and displayed, and then uh, you know they've still got a great piece of something they love, but you've bought an investment for them and you've started teaching them. So one second here, I'm going to pop it out. All right, there you go. So this capsule is actually quite tightly, so I don't want to mess around with it too much, but you'll see here that uh, uh, it's very, very well done. Beautifully painted, just like the artists. Um, one ounce fine silver, three nines. The leaves there falling from the tree. And then Queenie on the back island of Nui, two dollars. Um, so think about things like this, everybody. If you see stuff like this on sale or deals, or you, you're thinking of a gift, um, how how can you get that next generation in, excited about metals? Um, they're not going to care about a 
you know, a plain old uh, silver buffalo and that, and I would say for the most part, of course, everybody has their own things they like. Um, but I think that in order to get the young crowd, the next generation, even to start thinking about this, so when they get older and they start thinking about spending their money, uh, how can we get them to you know, do it? And this, and this is ways. And this is also, I mean, great gifts. Um, and you're helping, helping with that investment. So hopefully everybody enjoyed that. A nice little, uh, little feature of some great stuff from thecoinshop.ca. Please make sure you head on over to thecoinshop.ca. Let them know Canadian Silver Saver sent you their way. And if you use my code, you'll get 4% off of uh, numismatics and collectibles. So it's Canadian Silver Saver. Right and uh, use that code and that will... Um, that will uh, get you 4% off of these items here. So this one's actually on sale already, so that's pretty awesome. Um, keep checking out my channel for more videos coming from the coin shop as well as my Silver Hunt Sundays. And I'm gonna be doing more on how can we get the next generation in stacking. This is just the beginning of it. I have a whole series I'm gonna be doing on that to try and really get that, uh, that crowd involved and excited about what's in the future. We'll see you then. Take care, everybody. Canadian Silver Saver, 